favorite paintings. I'm trying to get that glare off there. I just love this. This is a textured painting. I love to put texture in my paintings. Uh, and it is, it is varnished. You see, it is, it is varnished. Try to hold it. See, you see the texture in this painting? I love to put texture in my paintings. Just adds a little flair to the painting. It's one of my favorites. If you're interested, just message me. Today I am going to be working with an 11 by 14 canvas, and I'm going to be working with an array of blues. So come on, let's get started. Okay, the base is going to be Artist Loft White. And I'm using quite a few colors for this little canvas. We're just gonna see how this is gonna come out. Now I'm using a couple of folk art colors, and I don't use folk art too often. But sometimes, especially when I'm doing just a blue palette, they have some of the prettiest blues. And this is navy blue by Folk Art, and it, it is one of my favorite colors. This is Amsterdam's grayish blue. This is another Folk Art called Ink Spot. This is Amsterdam's sky blue light. Amsterdam's, uh, this is permanent blue violet. Amsterdam's light gold, and then Amsterdam pearl blue. Okay, I'm going to flip the canvas on camera this time. I thought I would talk a little bit. Um, I haven't been doing this long, making these videos, and I thought, you know, I would you a little bit about myself on this one. Um, I've been doing this, I guess, going on four years now. It, uh, it's really a hobby. I am I'm disabled, um, and I do this to kind of supplement my income a little bit. It just helps me out some. And plus, I enjoy doing it. I also used to make wreaths. But when the cost of shipping rose, it got to where I couldn't justify the cost of making the wreath and the cost to sell the wreath. And people just didn't understand why it cost so much to, sell, to ship a wreath. Um... It was always the size versus the weight, and it would cost you anywhere upwards of $25 to $40 to ship a simple little wreath. So I just stopped making the wreaths all together because of that. But I had always dabbed in the painting, and I enjoy it, always have, and I've done pretty good at it. Um, of course, it takes experience, it takes practice, a lot of practice. Um, I'm by no means perfect at it, but I do each time learn a little bit, each time I make a, a painting. And I thought, well, why not? Let's just start making some videos and see how far I can get with that. Okay, we are going to start with the navy blue. I would just do a little simple, something like that. We're going to go with a grayish blue. This is the ink spot. This is the light blue. This is the permanent blue violet. This is the light gold. This is a little of my secret sauce. <laughs> I like to put glow in the dark in a lot of my paintings. It just adds that little special flair 
Sometimes it doesn't show up, it gets buried, and if it does, that's just how it is. But I do like to try to put it in there. Okay. Uh, let me add just a little bit of extra flow. I don't know if I need it or not, but I always like to be safe and sorry. Okay. Just pop some bubbles. Bubbles. It's important to make sure that you pop all your bubbles. Uh, if you don't, in the drying process, you could have a bubble underneath there somewhere and it'll pop during that drying process and leave a big hole right there in your painting. All right, let's blow this out and see what happens. Let's see which way do I want to go. Let's just start here. Well, it was doing good until this right here happened. So, I'm just gonna add a little more color right there. Looks like the white tried to swallow it up. So let's add just a tad bit more color right here. Bring it up a little bit. There we go. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much for joining me again today. And as always, I would appreciate your continued support. If you would, like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, be safe, be kind. Bye-bye.